I confess, I never get tired of eating sweets. Would you care to try one, Sir Marth? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage, where we left off. We discussed Gold Mary's Bond Conversations, and I completely forgot to do the intro before I immediately went into dealing with Marin's Bond Conversations. So let's start off with Marin and Sasuke. I am sure they are delicious. Alas, I cannot eat. It is fun to take in their pretty colors, though. Leadership roles. One day I'll be the matriarch of my hometown. Once peace is restored and that time comes, will you have to give up being a knight? No. I'm pleased to say my princess has given me leave to continue on in both roles. She is a wise leader indeed. You are sure to be the coolest matriarch that ever lived. Not sure what he really wanted to say. Because he could have even just said dot 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 most interesting and it would still have been true. Skill I have to make you proud. Yes, you were incredibly cool, Marin. Of course, I would expect no less from you. I'm getting very much flirtatious vibes from Marin. Like she wants everyone to notice her senpai. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm an accomplished knight, for goodness sakes. It's not often I see you so angry, Marin. What's going on? Uh, Lady Selica, my brothers keep insisting they're worried about me. Worried about me! That reminds me of my older brother. Just try to think of it as their way of saying, I love you. Didn't think I'd hear those three words from Selica. But you're the one who went directly against what your brother said! He openly said, there's a trap down that way, don't go that way, and this bitch goes, let's go down that way. One of the many reasons why I hate you. Sir Sigurd, please tell me, what should I do to become a knight as impressive as you? It is the duty of a knight to protect their people. Keep this fire lit in your heart always. We so lit. All I ever wanted was to be a knight. But it was my princess who made that dream a reality. She asked me once if that's what I truly wanted. I nodded, and have been in her service since. Tamara must have seen something in you, and known you were meant for the job. You must match these expectations. So we shall fight side by side as knights for all to see. Sir Leaf, I wonder if we could discuss the recent battle? I'd like your honest opinion on a matter. Of course. I am always happy to provide whatever knowledge or insight I can. How blank. Why is that? I like to study things I admire. In fact, I have studied you on occasion as well, Sir Leaf. Again with the flirting. And at peace. But that is my dream as a king. Perhaps I should find my own personal dream, just as you have. How boringly bland. I want to become a more powerful knight. Sir Roy, please, help me. Lend me your strength. I would be glad to, Merit. I'll work with you for as long as you'll have me. In my world, we don't have giant wolves like the one you ride. I find them very fascinating. So, you have an interest in animals? Wonderful! I'll go get my encyclopedia of rare critters. I have done it. What are you doing, Marin? All those poses. Are they part of a new training regimen? Oh no, not at all, Sir Roy. I'm just working on my signature pose. What are you applying for the Ginyu Force? Your signature pose? Why would you need something like that? To look cool, of course. But hey, I'm working on one for you too. You'll look amazing in battle. He has three or four signature poses. No, it's three. He has three signature poses. Boy, the wind this battle. Lady Lin, the way you move when you fight, it's very impressive. I envy you. And I envy you and the way you ride that wolf. How I wish I could ride one across the plains. 
We've been through so many battles together. We make a very cool duo, don't you think? I agree. Our rapport is envied by many, I'm sure. But what made you think of this? Because I think it's time we form an alliance. The two of us together, we'd be unstoppable. An alliance? Yes, I'm in. Just one important question. Which one of us gets to be the leader? This is where it ends, isn't it? How convenient. They had an entire conversation with Yunaka and Marin about one not being able to give up their, uh, their own shit. And uh, now these two are going to argue about who's going to be the leader. Some animals manage to survive in very harsh conditions, you know. I respect them for that. I ran into a nest of monsters living in a volcanic zone once. I can't say respect was on my mind. I must admit, spending time with you has helped me better appreciate the unknown. I now see how charming strange creatures can be. You've given me a whole new perspective. I'm honored, Lady Erica. It pleases me that a princess like you would value my thoughts. I hope we can talk more. I want to learn all about the Entombed and Bonewalker monsters. Honestly, so do I. I'd like to learn a new fighting move that looks cool. What would you recommend, Sir Ike? I prefer practical moves to cool moves. Though, come to think of it, Aether is pretty cool. I saw that posted on uh, Fire Emblem Support's Twitter page, and they never gave context as to who we uh, supported with. I'm glad it's with one of the characters on my team. Once peace is restored, I plan to go around the world, checking out every rare critter there is. What'll you do with these rare critters when you find them? Are you gonna eat them? Not on your life. Laying eyes upon them? That's my dream. Would you care to join me, Sir Ike? So you're pursuing a dream, are you? All right. I'd be up for that. Somehow that doesn't very much feel like an Ike thing to do for him to just go at rare critters for the rest of his non-existent life. Micaiah, I must admit I feel an urge to protect you. But I wonder if you really need protecting. You are kind, but do not let my looks deceive you. Once upon a time, I was a commander. Is it true there are birds and dragons that can turn human in your world? No. They're not called humans. They are called legus, and there's no such thing as a human in this one's world. They are called Bjork. She was racist in the conversation with Pepsi. Let's see if they fix it here. Yes, that is true, but I think you misunderstand, Marin. They are humans that can turn into birds and dragons, not the other way around. They are not humans. What? You mean, like the Divine Dragon? Now I'm absolutely dying to meet one! They're not humans, they're different from humans. Being called human is an insult in their world. Your fight style is so cool. It makes me want to come up with an epic new move of my own. I'm not sure you need a new move, but if you do, you should call it the Swordy Poke Poke. Oh, how I would love to hear... She did the thing. I almost clicked away. She did the thing. I'm counting it. I would love to hear Laura Bailey say that. She did the thing. How many times have I clicked away too fast when they were going to do the thing? I will strike you down. I lost. The more we fight beside each other, the more I see how cool you are. I... I want to be like you. Oh, if you only knew how I see you. You carry yourself with such confidence. I truly envy that. You do? What a nice thing to say. I guess we've got a mutual admiration thing going on here. I guess we do. I hope we consider each other not just allies, but friends. Now and forever. I know we're comrades in arms and equals. Still, I wish I was the protector keeping you safe. I understand. It feels good to be the protector. Who wouldn't want that? Lady Corin? I just heard you can turn into a dragon. Can you go all dragony for me, please? 
I'm sorry, but in this world, it seems I can't fully turn into a dragon. What? Aw, but I'm dying to see it! No, I'm not giving up. I'll be patient, and maybe it'll happen. I'm not sure that's ever... Oh, never mind. I hope one day I can go all dragony for you, Marin. How adorable. I want to be a great knight. You taught at the Officer's Academy. Tell me, what's your advice? What I can tell you is this. All the knights I've known were steadfast to their very core. How boring. You seem to be enjoying that book, Marin. What is it about? It's an encyclopedia of rare critters. I absolutely adore learning about them. You know, I once pulled a legendary fish called the Goddess Messenger from a shimmering lake. Legendary fish? Goddess Messenger? That sounds amazing! I must hear the whole story. That was a very lame A support. A divine dragon from another world. How fascinating. Would you tell me about yourself? Happy to. You know, you seem very cool. So I'd like to hear about you too. What are your interests, Lady Tiki? Ooh, good question. Hmm. I really like lively conversations and playing games. What a coincidence. I am also playing a game right now. A very long one. In that case, I'd love to hear your singing voice. Sure thing. Here, I'll sing you a ditty from back in my world. <clears throat> what a tease. You left your home to become a knight, right? I once fled my castle to save my friend. I'm surprised we've had similar experiences. Perhaps we'll get on better than I expected. I read in a book that knights should put their lives on the line for their friends. I don't think it means to sacrifice yourself. It's probably saying to be prepared to do anything. If I had your physique, Sir Hector, I could protect my princess even more effectively. My good friend once said that, thankfully, wars are not won by strength alone. He's not as sturdy as me, but when we sparred, we always came out even. I suppose muscles aren't everything. I'll strive to succeed in my own way. No idea who he's referencing. Could you help me come up with a line for my next duel so I sound cooler than anyone else? You want to sound cool? Nonsense. If you want this war to end, just focus on killing enemies. Yeah, he is not going to give you any cool, quippy lines to say. But if we had Emblem Kiran, he would absolutely have a line for you to say. Yet another choice that would have been better than this motherfucker. Your training regimen is more intense than I would have expected. It's not enough for me to look cool. I've got to back it up, too. Let's spar so I can show you. That sounded oddly sexy. Is that a part of your training regimen? Huh? Not at all. I just want to pet rare critters. I see. And here I thought you took training so seriously. You're difficult to pin down. You must have things you enjoy too. Maybe you should try pursuing them once in a while. It doesn't benefit the war, so I'm not going to. Let's have some fun! You had a superior strategy. Thank you both for the help. I would love to hear stories of the animals of your world. Well, we have Pegasi and horses like you do. Oh, what about Togwell? They turn into rabbits? It... it cuts away before Marin starts geeking out. So these Togwell you spoke of have rabbit ears? Fascinating! There were also dragons called Manakeets. And the Risen, of course, but they're not exactly... Now I'm mad! You had a... superior strategy. I have two older brothers, and both are knights. I was inspired to become a knight as well. I understand you have an older sister. Did you want to be like her? Not exactly, but I did want to keep fighting to carry on her kindness and wishes. I still do. Her wish was for peace. 
I'll do all I can to make it happen. Even in this world. May I observe your wyvern up close? It's a rare opportunity to examine one from another world. You're welcome to. Just watch your fingers. She can be a little temperamental. Your lunch is full of sweets. <laughs> How nice. I love sweet things. I also enjoy good meat. Is that so? I also like both those things. I'd love to try the sweets of your country someday. I have two older brothers who worry about me constantly, even though I'm an adult now. Ah, uh, that's just what siblings do. A cute little sister will always be on one's mind. You may find yourself at odds sometimes, but you're connected by a bond wherever you are. Yes, I feel the bonds with my brothers and my friends. And with you, kindly fighting beside me. I just get the image of Corrin just walking by in the background and Camilla going, Ooh, never mind, I'm gonna go talk to Corrin now. Sir Dimitri, would you honor me by joining me for training? Please, hold nothing back. Of course. Let us become stronger together. Farewell to you! I lost. The wolves would not balk to die for their pack. I too would lay down my life for my princess. You need to stop thinking of dying as a virtue, Marin. I mean it. Damn, being pulled off by Dimitri. I must apologize for earlier. It was careless to say something that implied death was a virtue. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I got emotional that day. As a knight, I wish to continue to live and serve, just as my beloved critters also strive to live. I see. I am relieved to hear it. He should not have apologized and made it cool that he said, Shut up! I am happy to fight alongside someone as sweet as you. I will protect you with all my might. I see. Thank you. And also, even if it's just sometimes, please tell me stories. I absolutely cannot get enough of rare critters. What kinds of animals were there in your land? Animals? I'm not sure. But I have seen people with rabbit ears on their heads. Funny that you mentioned that, because Kra mentioned that earlier too. From the day I was born, I was set to become a village matriarch. Call it something like fate. It was the same for me. From birth, it was decided. I never thought about it deeply, but after talking to others, I realized it. The thing I want. I cannot quite put it into words yet. In that case, we should speak more. If you use your words more, your desire may come clear. Or you might just bore someone to sleep. But that's going to do it for today's part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part where we look at all of Soren's conversations. We're taking a slight break between the playable characters, and I want to see Soren and Ike's next. And Jackass, out!